hello guys welcome to my tutorial on google apps uh, in this tutorial i'll discuss how you can uh, manage different settings on the calendars and being a super admin how you can also modulate uh, settings for other users in your uh, google apps so uh, i'll go to the calendars module now you can see this is the calendar interface uh, these are the events we created in the last tutorial if you have not seen the last tutorial i would advise you to check on that to know about how you can create events and uh, how you can create resources now in this tutorial we'll talk about how i want to add someone i'll add a user who is present so you can see this user uh, appears in my my calendars list uh, the users who do not have super admin access can also add their co-workers calendar here but after adding their calendar that calendar will uh, appear in the list of other calendars and not in my calendars list this is because we have super admin access so it appears in my calendars list i'll go to this particular user settings by clicking on calendar settings i can change his name uh, I can change uh, the description. I can also change uh, uh, the location, and uh, I'll click on save. So I changed it for this user. Now you can see the name has been changed. Again, I can also change sharing settings for the user. I'll go to share this calendar option. So you can see when you untick this option this calendar is not shared with anyone uh, it is generally advised to share your calendar with other users in the organization so that your colleagues are able to see uh, when you are occupied when you are free and uh, your assistants may be able to see when they can set up meetings with your colleagues now uh, you should uh, share this calendar with see all event details uh, permission now you can also make this calendar public uh, like uh, people outside the organization can also see this calendar again uh, you can also share this calendar with someone who is present in this organization like this calendar is shared with this user with see all event details permission there are four types of permissions here uh, make changes and manage sharing permission is the highest and uh, you should give it when uh, you want this particular user to take over uh, setting change and other responsibilities of your calendar uh, suppose uh, i'll give this uh, as your all event details suppose i'll remove this calendar and i'll try to add it again so you see that it has been added with see all event details access uh, I'll click on save and uh, you see changes have been saved now sometimes uh, as we saw we had created some resources uh, in the last tutorial uh, there you may need to manage those resources like a person uh, who is managing those resources should have uh, particular accesses I'll show you uh, I'll go into the list of resources now into the calendar module and uh, then into the rest list of resources here you see that uh, there is one resource i'll click on that resource so this is the email id of this particular resource i'll copy this email id you see that this is the resource id this will also uh, come uh, in place i'll tell you about it later now as of now we see that this is the email id i'll add it here as i added the users calendar now you see that it appears in my my calendars list as a super admin i'll go to calendar settings and uh, if i want to share this calendar this is already shared with the user if i want to share this calendar i'll give i'll give make changes and manage sharing access i'll make 
I'll give it make changes and sharing uh, manage sharing access so that this user is able to modify uh, settings and other uh, custom uh, settings for this particular calendar now you see that this projector one details can also be changed in the general tab calendar details tab I can modify the name I can give a description and again if your organization uh, um, sustaining worldwide is functioning worldwide then you may have uh, rooms with uh, which have to be uh, set with different time zones I can also change it randomly you can also dis click on this option it will display all time zones I'll click something some time zone and I'll select it and I'll save it so that particular country and time zone has been set so there should be no confusion when the user is uh, trying to book the calendar so in this tutorial we talked about how you can manage a particular resource now if you want you can also hide this calendar from the list or you can also go to your calendar settings and then you can unsubscribe from this calendar if you do not want to see it in the list so now we'll see that the calendar should be removed from this list yeah it was something projector room on it's removed from here now uh, you see that the user to whom you gave access on that particular pr uh, room uh, he or she should be able to modulate uh, the settings of that particular resource uh, this makes management of uh, the calendar resources easier uh, because you being a super admin would not be able to uh, handle every resource you may have thousands of resources in your organization and you may not be able to uh, handle each and every resource so this is very handy uh, I think you understood what I uh, was talking about in this tutorial. If you still have any doubts, you can always uh, give feedback or respond in comments. Uh, we'll try to come up with a reply as soon as possible. Thanks.